Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome to the top 10 retail polls for the month of March for 2024 presented by PSA and whatnot. If you guys caught the last top 10 that was released on Monday, the hobby version, you noticed it was a big list. Well, so is this one. It took a poll of $1,000 to get on this month's list. That has never happened before, I can tell you that, but we have a few honorable mentions for cards that typically would make the top 10 list. But before we get into it, a quick word from our sponsor, PSA, who just released five new specials for the month of April. The first two are Collectors Club exclusives with the Modern Sports Special for $17 per card. You can send your sports cards from 2000 to 2024. You need 10 cards to submit under this special. The other one is the TCG and Non-Sports Special for $14 per card. You need a 20 card minimum for this one, however. A special that anyone could take advantage of is their MLB Ticket Special for $25 per card. They also have a Pop Grading Special. This one is a Collectors Club exclusive for $35 per Funko Pop. And last but not least, they have an autographed baseball special for $16 per baseball. You can send those in as long as the declared value is under $400. If you have any interest in becoming a PSA Collectors Club member yourself, they have two options for you. They have the standard tier and the premium tier, which you can see here. The premium tier will now get you a little bit more in Fanatics break credit, but it'll also get you 12 months access to Card Ladder Pro. For more information on the memberships or on the specials, you can visit my links in the description box below. It is now time to get into our honorable mentions before our top 10, but if you could do me a huge favor, if you can click a thumbs up on this video, I would greatly appreciate it. Most of all, I hope you guys enjoy. Our first honorable mention comes from Philip and Emily, who have a page over on Twitter or X or whatever you call it these days, and this was a poll from 2023 Absolute Football, and this was a mega box. Oh, it's looking like something, though. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. I'm shaking. Could this finally have happened? I, I don't even want to... We'll, we'll get these out of the way. We'll flip her around. My, I am literally shaking right now. <laughs> oh, my God. We fi I finally got one. Oh. Come on, Ooh. baby. Come on, baby. It's Joe Burrow. Let's go. Woo! Finally! Oh my God! I've been trying to get a kaboom for four years. Finally, Woo! one Joe Bur Burrow. And what's even crazier is my wife pulled <laughs> Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes last week. Oh my goodness! I know the feeling, Philip. I'm at four and a half years and still no kaboom. So congratulations to you. This is the Joe Burrow Horizontal Kaboom. I have this at $515 based on the last two sales of this card. And there is a PSA 10 currently on eBay with a bid price within a couple hundred dollars of where this should end at based on the only other two sales of PSA 10s. Congratulations to Big Al Breaks for pulling a Joe Burrow Horizontal Kaboom this month as well. Our second honorable mention comes from right here on If Sports Cards, and we don't pull kabooms over here, but my wife Nikki pulls amazing cards in our wife pack wars. So if you have not seen that, be sure to check it out. But this was a pull from 2023-24 Prism Monopoly Basketball, and this was a blaster box. Our you got Sid something Wallace. cool in here. Sorry, I'm peeking. Yeah, what the heck? That's a rookie. Jalen Brown. James Harden. What is that? Handshakes. <gasps> No way. <laughs> oh, coworker's not gonna be happy. <laughs> Can you sleeve that sucker? And then tell me what it's numbered out of. I forgot to mention that this was a box I purchased off of a coworker of mine. This is the Victor Wembanyama Rookie Handshake Deal. I have this at $650 based on the last raw sale of this card, but this card was already sent to PSA and it came back a Gem Mint 10. There was a sale of $1,600, but that exact card was relisted and the auction ends tomorrow. Also, shout out to Nightmare Rips on pulling one of these last month as well. Our third and final honorable mention for this month comes from the Cardboard Jungle, who have an absolutely amazing setup here. They break on YouTube, and they were opening 2018-2019 Prism Basketball, and this was a blaster box. 
on Hornets tonight. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, Something yeah. numbered coming up here, and please be one of these big rookies. That would be huge. Nerland's Noel. Let's creep this guy from the top. Oh, oh my oh. God. <laughs> this is Luca numbered. This could be an Oh, order. this could be massive, massive card. Oh, Who the hell's got the Mavericks tonight? I How did I forget? <sighs> Stan from Canton. 20 minutes down the road from the jungle. Show us something big here. Luca to 10. Oh, my God. This is Luca oh, rookie patch with the letter in it oh, to 10. Sad. This is going to be a massive hit. Smoke is coming out of Logan Mills' ears over there. Let me get a thick. Thank smoke. God we pumped Logan Mills full of Adderall. I got to say, because this is going to be a huge hit. This is the Luka Doncic Sensational Swatches Prime, numbered 6 out of 10. And I have this at an estimated $815, which is exactly what this certified fabric of the game, which was also numbered to 10, sold for a few days ago as a PSA 8. But this exact Luka card is currently listed on eBay for $1,000 or best offer. That will do it for our honorable mentions for this month. Let's now jump into that top 10 and see what big cards were pulled from retail this month. Kicking us off at number 10 for this month is Lucky Dragon Cards, who break over on whatnot, and they had a handful of really big retail pulls, but none bigger than this. From 2023, Bowman Baseball, and this was a mega box. Santos with his first for the Diamondbacks. There is the Ellie De La Cruz. Is that one of one? It is, guys. That is a one-of-one one Ellie De La Cruz image variation card, guys. That is huge. Holy moly, dirt. This is the Ellie De La Cruz image variation black one-of-one, one, and I have this at an estimated $1,000, which is a guess based on what Ethan Salas' version of this card sold for. Comparing their other sales from this product, Ellie should sell for about 25% more than Salas. At number nine, we're with the One Stop Shop, who break over on whatnot, and they were opening 2023 Prism Football, and this was a retail box. Texans. Ooh. Rookie. Yo! Oh! CJ Stroud! I can't, guys, Yo! no, you, you yell. I can't, Yo! I can't. Yo! I'm gonna yell again. I can't Yo! lose my voice. Yo, I can't lose my voice. Huge, I can't lose my you voice. Time out. Let's yeah. shut it out. Let's shut it down. This is the CJ Stroud rookie black and white checker, and I have this also at an estimated $1,000 based on the last two sales of this card. BDP Sports Cards is the one who hit the card, but wasn't able to watch the break. How he found out about hitting this card was because the breaker reached out to him trying to buy it. How about that? Congratulations to Card Combine on also pulling one of these this month as well. At number eight, we are with the Cardinival who break over on Instagram and they were opening 2023 Prism Football and this was a hanger box. Richardson in the portals. Ooh, back to back Richardson. Second one is the Green Wave portals. We'll take it. Who's in the purple? To 99, let's hit. Ooh, don't tell me we about to hit a banger. Texas rookie purple wave to 99. Wait a minute. Bang! Let's freaking go, man. Yo, John. Let's go, John. Let's freaking go, John. This is the CJ Stroud rookie purple wave numbered. 99 out of 99. And I have this at an estimated $1,300, although the last one to sell did so for over $3,000. That one was the jersey number, however. And look at what the raw sale was before that. That is a pretty crazy premium for that jersey number. This one is going to or is already on its way to PSA. At number seven, we are with Back in the Game 93, who on his YouTube channel posted this video of a poll from 2023 24 Upper Deck Series 2 Hockey, and this was a retail tin. I think that's all of our young guns, which means we did not get a Bedard Young Guns, which is a little disappointing. But it's basically a one in 50. One in 50 young guns is going to be him, so. And director of the boards. Ryan Reeves. Oh, 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 my God. 
uh, wow. Um, that's a huge hit. Holy crap. Well, he didn't have to wait long. This is the Connor Bedard Young Gun Silver Outburst, and I have this at $1,700 based on the two most recent sales of this card. While the last PSA 10 sold for a best offer of $5,400 at the end of March. Hockey collectors have a big card to chase in Bedard. At number six, we are with Oliver Mari 13, who break over on Whatnot, and he was opening 2023 Absolute Football, and this was a blaster box. We have a kaboom. Flip it to the back. Flip it to the back. Oh, my gosh. Kaboom. All right. The team should be over here. Okay. All right. That's, that's another card. Marvin Mims. Oh, my gosh. Woo. All right. All right. Just, just do it. Just do it. Just, just pour it. Oh! Oh, oh shit! Oh, CJ Stroud, kaboom! Oh my! Oh my! Woo! Holy smokes, chat! Oh my god! Oh my! Oh my. This is the CJ Stroud Rookie Horizontal Kaboom, and I have this at $2,250 based on the last Raw and PSA 9 sales of this card. And the last PSA 10 sold a little over a week ago for $4,650. Shout out to Adart Cards Joe and Panini Vision 209 on pulling this card from retail last month as well. At number five, we're with Elusive Breaks, who break over on Facebook, and they were opening 2023-24 Prism Monopoly Basketball, and this was a blaster box. That has got to be one of the coolest cards. And the... Oh my god, oh my god, we did it! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I just, I just, I've just been talking about it. And, and envisioning it and talking about it and talking about it and talking about it and then boom it's just right in front of your face it's like one of the most exciting things is a breaker i'm sorry mic drop oh yeah this is the Victor Wembenyama Rookie Money Blast, and I have this at $2,800, as that is what the last one of these sold for raw, but the last PSA 10 sold for $5,200. At number four, we're with Pac-Man, who has a channel here on YouTube, and he was opening 2023-24 Court Kings Basketball, and this was an international blaster box. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That might be one of the biggest cards ever hit in my life. Blank slate. Wemby. Dude, that's ridiculous. This is the Victor Wembenyama Rookie Blank Slate, and I have this at $3,500 based on what the last three of these sold for. This was a $5,000 plus card a couple of weeks ago, and when it was featured as an honorable mention in one of our weekly top 10s, I also asked you guys if these $125 boxes should be considered retail, the majority of you said yes, but I just think many of you wanted to see Pac-Man on here. At number three, we are with The Card Hunter, who on his YouTube channel posted this video of him opening a box of 2023-24 Prism Monopoly Basketball, and this was a blaster box. What the f***? Holy s***, dude. It's a money goal, 500. Holy smokes. What the f***? Oh my god. Oh my god. 
how about the emotion in that video? You go from thinking you have the gold millionaire shimmered, which is out of 500, to this gold wave millionaire, which is numbered out of 10. And this is the one out of 10 for Victor Wembenyama. And I have this at $4,000 based on what the seven out of 10 just sold for as a best offer at the end of the month. This being the jersey match, one out of 10 is going to provide a premium versus the one that sold, however. And I am told that this one is on its way to PSA, so good luck on the grade. At number two, we are with Ankle Breaks, who break over on Whatnot, and they were opening the same thing, 2023-24 Prism Monopoly Blaster Box. I got a feeling, I got a feeling we got an absolute loaded card. Jamal, Joel, LBJ, you ready for something fire? Are you talking to Wemby? A one of five! Wemby on a one of five back to back, baby! Holy cow! Oh my goodness! No way! This is the Victor Wembenyama Rookie Pink Millionaire Shimmer number one out of five, and I have this at an estimated $4,500 based on the previously mentioned Gold Wave Millionaire sale of $3,000. Although there are half as many of these pinks, I think this will sell almost right in line with the gold wave given gold is the preferred color parallel of collectors. That said, we do have one better than this this month. Let's see who and what took down the top spot for the top retail poll for the month of March. Taking down the number one spot for this month is 479 Breaks who break over on whatnot and it's no surprise that they were also opening 2023-24 Prism Monopoly Basketball and this was a blaster box. God, somebody clip this. Oh, f oh, f oh, f holy sh that's huge. Holy sh Oh my god, that's f massive. Technically, this makes three straight jersey matches. This is the Victor Wembenyama rookie white millionaire one of one. And I have this at an estimated $15,000, which seems even crazy to consider giving this was from a $30 retail box. But I estimated that this was a $25,000 card when it was first pulled three weeks ago, as his blue millionaire went for almost $5,000 at that time. Uh, due to that more recent Gold Wave Millionaire sale of $3,000, I am dropping my estimate on this card, but still, this is a massive pull for a retail product, and a huge congrats to Tommy on hitting the card, and to 479 Breaks on pulling it and capturing the top spot in this month's Top 10 Retail Sports Card Pulls of the Month. Victor Wembenyama continues to just take over the hobby. He is everywhere and people are spending big money on his cards. And if you would like a chance at hitting one of his cards, but you just can't get your hands on the product yourself or don't want to spend all the money for one of those big hobby boxes, you can jump into a break with our sponsor, Whatnot. And if you use my link in the description box below, you will get a free $10 towards your first break just by signing up with that link. If you guys decide to do so, good luck to you guys. I hope to see you on this episode either next week or next month. But a huge thank you to our sponsors, PSA and whatnot. Thank you guys for your continued support of this series. Thank you to the IF fam for your membership here on YouTube. And last but not least, thank you to everyone who submits polls for this series. We could have had a top 50 probably on this retail. There were so many big polls. I got to say, this was not the month to have a sub $1,000 card poll. But we will see what big cards come out of retail over the course of the next month. I cannot wait to find out. And I hope you guys join me next month as well. Until then, you guys be smart, be safe, and be humble. Ian out.